Hello YouTube, this is DiaperDude22, back with a new video. So, it's been a neat, interesting period of time lately. I haven't recorded in a minute, and I'm able to kind of start recording now. I'm actually looking at my own place pretty soon, so I'll be able to, like, do whatever. Man, I want to be in a diaper and play the drums in my living room, I'm gonna do that. I can't do that here. So hopefully this week, like maybe Tuesday, Wednesday, I will find out. I have a uh, friend with me today. His name is Little Baby Noodle. He is a ball python. He is about two. And he is very sweet, very friendly. He don't do nothing. He don't bite. Mwah. He's very sweet. Um, <clears throat> so I've gotten some new, oh, gotten some new stuff since the last time I recorded, and I got a variety of different diapers that I've tried. I got a new onesie, a couple of them, which I'll do something on later on. I got these leggings from Rares, which I like a lot, and I got some kind of cool I want to do a little video on today, which are these... ABDL mittens right here and these are actually really cool I like them a lot they're super soft on the inside I'll show them in a minute and you can get little locking straps on them that you have a buckle right here and you also have a little loop so if you want to go and kind of tie your arms together and not have mobility with your fingers you can absolutely do so but these have like little, whoop, that's not clicked in all the way. These actually have like little keys that you can use to lock them. So that way no baby gets to break out. And you can unlock it just like that. So unlocked, locked. I got these on Etsy. I think there were like I think altogether it was like 60 bucks for the uh, strap and the mitten. And these are kind of cool. I mean, you really can't pick stuff up. It makes the, like I can hold my phone like that, but it's really hard. But if you put them on and you tighten them down, so like this is like, the strap is right here. You'll have your hand kind of in like a loose fist and you really cannot do much. I've worn them at night time. I had one of my friends put them on me and lock them on and I couldn't put on my, I couldn't put these leggings on. You cannot change yourself. You cannot put on a new diaper. You can maybe pinch your passy and put it in. You, my point is that you are very limited. So you have to be super careful with these because if you are wearing these, you are now dependent. You cannot do anything on your own. You cannot really wear them alone. Like, I'll put them on alone, and like, if you are really creative, and they're unlocked, you can actually, you can unbuckle them. You know, if you really try, you can unbuckle them, but if they're locked, you're not picking up that key, really, and putting that key in there and then twisting it and unbuckling it. Unbuckling it. It's certainly possible, but you just have someone take that key from you and you are now, you are now dependent. You cannot do anything, you cannot use your fingers. That's what I kind of like about these. I think they're kind of cool. They're fun to wear. And it feels really little and cute when you have them on. Little, why are you stretching or squeezing? Weirdo. Sorry. Noodles, I guess camera shy. Um, yeah, so I got these little locking mittens and I like them a lot. I think they're probably better off for the winter time or the colder months. Because summertime, I mean, here in the past couple weeks, it has been pretty warm. And currently in my room, I live in like 
a lower level room, like basement room, but it's not really basement because you got windows. I got windows and I got a door over there. But it stays a little cool. I don't have AC in my apartment. I'm gonna actually get AC. And yeah. So you get all this stuff, which is awesome. Buddy, stop it. Yeah. I also recently picked up, and this is like a little cover, I think I got it from Rears, the Fix Size 10 pacifier, and this is honestly the most comfortable pacifier I've had. The nipple is much, much bigger. It's a little bit dirty. I do need to wash it, but I will put it on it like in to show you. The shield is a lot bigger, so I think it's a Fix Size 10. I got it from Rears on sale for like 15 bucks. I got the alpaca style. And yeah, I do like it a lot. I'm not too familiar with pacifiers, but this is something that I'm trying to learn to wear at nighttime. But it's just a slow going process to get there. And to pair with that, I actually got one of those pacifier straps so to put it on you take your pacifier and I'm not going to talk when I do this because I really can't so I have one of these I had to go and kind of cut the hole a little bit I didn't really do that great of a job but you'd stick it on like that and then you can do this And you can't really talk like that. You know, this guy, I think he... <laughs> I don't know. Mm. <laughs> so you can get stuff like that. And, I mean, that thing's cool, but I don't really see myself using that strap. I don't think it's really worth it. Maybe if you're, like, more into, like, a BDSM play with it, which I think that could be fun. You know, it, it's not like a daily wear kind of thing. Cause I feel like I get like a lot of saliva around my lips and then it makes me feel chapped and it's like, bleh, no fun. But yeah, another kind of little cool thing I got recently was the Rears bottle. And I got the extra large uh, nipple for it. And so that's like the same size as a pacifier. The thing I liked about this is that when I have this nipple in, you can actually like drink and it's not like hard to. I mean, a lot of these bottles, it would take a lot of effort to drink the bottle, but this one, you could just... Kind of just like that. It doesn't really, it has like a really high flow on it. Apologies for not moving. I'm in a little bit of a stinky situation right now. I do need to change because I made a booby in this. I'm kind of wet. And I got a bunch of other, I got, I got a couple other diapers too. And where are you going, buddy? You coming out over here? Okay. I got a couple other diapers and I'll do like a little video on that. Probably film it right after this, to be honest. Mm, stinky. <laughs> Aisawi. Oh man. Yeah. So I got some other stuff like that. Just like cool little things. And I honestly, I like them a lot. I really like those. I like the pacifier. I love the bottle. I don't use the bottle too much. It's only like, if I know, if I'm like a little bit tipsy, I might be like, okay, I'll put... Even if I'm not in like little space, I'll, even, I'll just put like water in that bottle. So that way I could be laying in bed and I could just go and like take some sips off the bottle. And when I fall asleep, I don't worry about spilling the water or anything in my bed. I wouldn't do it with that nipple on there though. I would personally use the normal one. That one can leak and I've had that happen on my bed and made a little wet spot. It wasn't me, but it did make a little wet spot and I was like, mmm, no fun. <laughs>
but yeah so i'm gonna post this video and i'm gonna make another one and i'll be back to y'all people soon all right bye bye babies and i'll see you in the next video bye bye <laughs> gopro stop recording <laughs>